we have here a HP laptop, a Lightbook 8460p, and it is randomly shutting down due to heat. So I'm going to show you how to clean up all the I'm going to show you how to this is a HP Lightbook 8460p and uh, it's getting really hot and it's turning off so we're going to clean the fans and apply new thermal paste and I'll show you how to do that so normally the back cover is secured and there is no screws to open it simply this lever here push to the left and that slides open and remove the battery at the same time you don't need to wear gloves I'm just wearing it uh, okay so here is the fan and this is a nice design easily accessible that's the CPU that's the chipset or the GPU so basically get your screwdriver out under two screws so let's do the fan first there is one screw here black one it doesn't come out so it stays there white one here doesn't come out and a black one here and doesn't come out either and try to yank it out this is the fan connector lift it out like that and there we go that looks pretty clean bit of rust maybe liquid spill definitely liquid spill The fan looks good. Normally you will blow all this area out, but in my case it looks pretty clean. I can see right through it. You can see my finger right through there. So we're not going to clean that area. We're going to apply new thermal paste and that should do the trick. 6 screws here. Very simple. If you need to upgrade to SSD, hard drive is in there. Simply opens up like that. Very nice design. I wonder what this is. Looks like a 4G module where you put a SIM card in. Ah oh yeah, the smart card reader goes in there. This is a professional model designed for corporate environment top of the quality I'll be selling this laptop for a couple of hundred dollars as is it's a new Windows 10 install using the license number here might put an SSD later okay Generally you'll clean that up, apply new thermal paste. This is a pad that looks like it's worn off. We'll put a new pad here as well. You can buy these on eBay. They come in a square size sheet and you just cut to the size you like to use. This looks like a mm, AMD. That's the GPU, AMD GPU. Cool. Gonna get alcohol and wipes and clean that out.
important area to clean is this shiny part here it's the main surface that gets really hot I've got this from one of our IT suppliers. Simply, it's a silicone fluid, grease like thermal paste. Apply generally a peanut size. Come in a tube, you can reuse many times. That's a nice dosage. And we need thermal pad. As you can see, they come in a square rectangular shape and you cut out as much as you want. Keep them tightly sealed so they can maintain their uh, the moisture or this elastic -y feel. So probably I'll need half of this. There we go. And let's put it all back together and that should do the trick. As you can see, this is pretty clean, so no need for cleaning. And sometimes they have numbers of, on the screws, which one to screw first. So the thermal paste lays evenly. If you do, if you start from this side first, it's gonna press out the thermal paste, which makes it less effective. So let's have a look at the numbers. Three, two, four, one, five and six. So here we go, that's one. Normally I do a little bit here, a little bit there. Just even it out bit by bit. Doesn't really matter much, but 
it makes sense when you putting in liquid sort compound and you want it to go on the chip evenly you need to press down evenly nice that's all secure looks good put our CPU fan back on Clicks in. One and two. Done. Hope you enjoyed the video. Very basic. Anyone can do it themselves and it will give the laptop a longer life see you in the next video thank you